Hello friends, welcome to the class on engineering drawing. So in this class, we are going to solve another problem on regular hexagonal lamina. Okay, so the problem is being like this: hexagonal lamina of sides 25 mm lying in such a way that one of its sides on HP. So I am going to take this data to draw the step number one. So for that, I am going to take a line command. So I am going to show you how to draw the hexagonal lamina starting point of the line. So I am going to click. What is the length? 25. Enter. First angle will be 0. Enter. Next length once again it will be 25. Enter. Angle is 60 into 1. First edge. Enter. Next length once again 25. Enter. Then the angle is 60 into 2 enter next once again length is 25 enter angle uh, 60 into 3 enter next once again the length is 25 enter angle is 60 into 4 enter the finally i am going to join this Okay, this is the hexagon of how much? 25 mm. So, they are telling that it is resting on one of its edges. So, I need to draw an hexagon in such a way that one of its edge must come to the right side. For that, I am going to use a command called rotate. Click on the element to modify. This is the element to modify. Click one of the corner as the center of rotation. I am going to fix this corner. And I am going to take another corner and I am going to rotate and this must be in off condition because the parent copy itself has to be rotated see in this way so one of its edges to the right side after this I am going to give the naming as A so B C uh, D uh, E uh, F okay so make it take a line command thickness must be 0 0.13 to draw the xy line like this okay now i am going to draw the projection this is a projection from a dash and f dash thickness must be 0 0.13 until it touches the xy line in the same way b dash to e dash and also d dash to c dash like this now take a line command thickness must be 0 0.5 to draw the front view from a dash to e dash e dash to d dash like this take a text command name give the naming this one is a dash in bracket it will be f dash so here it will be b dash you can just zoom the area zoom the area it will be visible properly so you can take a text command so this one will be uh, b dash in bracket it will be f dash here it will be c dash in bracket d dash so this is a front view and top view which satisfies the first condition next what is the next condition <clears throat> such that the one of its sides on hp while the side opposite to the side on hp uh, which is rest on vp so we need a data with respect to HP. So this is the data which is telling about the VP. If the lamina makes an angle of 60 degree to HP. So this is the data which is required for us to draw the second step. So the lamina is in an angle of how much? 60 degree. So now I am going to uh, first take a select command. Select this front view. Now I am going to choose a command called as move command. So this must be in on condition because I need another duplicate copy. Click for the point to move from. I need to hold from any one of the corner. Don't take it randomly. Take it from the corner and I am going to fix it. Okay. Like this when the xyline becomes red I am going to leave it. And press the right click. It will be uh, you are going to exit from the move command. Still the object is selected. 
now i am going to select the rotate command click for the center of rotation so which is the corner which is edge which is fixed c dash and d dash so that is the center of rotation click for the point to rotate from this another corner i am going to hold and i am going to rotate what is the angle so 60 degree with the hp so now position angle so whether you need downwards or upwards i need upward and this must be in off condition and i am going to do it like this now i am going to take the angle between measure the angle from this line to this line so this will be sorry from this line to this line it is of how much 60 degree now we need to draw the projection like this okay projection so take a line command thickness must be 0 0.13 I am going to draw the projection from A dash and F dash horizontal as well as vertical projection I need to draw so like this and the same thing from here to here so this is a projection of A dash and F dash so if you are getting confused you can take the text command name it so this is the A dash sorry A and this one is F next in the same way i am going to take a command from b dash and e dash so this is a b dash and e dash okay so take a line command b dash and e dash so this is a b okay and also from e so this is e so the naming is uh, I made mistake okay take a line text command so this one is b and this one is e so in the same way i'm going to draw the projection from c dash and d dash like this okay now take a text command so this is a c and this one is d now once again take a line command thickness must be 0 0.5 to draw the top view from a dash to b a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f and back to f to a this is the step number two okay so after this so we need to draw the third position or third step inclination with respect to vp see that telling that it is resting on one of the hp while the side opposite to the side on which it rests is on vp okay let me show the drawing see it is resting on dc so that you can easily identify the it is on the x y line the edge which is on the x y line the side opposite to this that is fa is on the x y line so this is what the data is telling so therefore i am going to tell us select the select command select this entire object including the naming first i need to choose the move command and this must be in on condition so i need to fix the first f dash i am going to hold it from f and i am going to bring it on the x y line when the x file and becomes red i am going to leave it uh, to right click to exit from the move command now i am going to select the rotate command f is already been fixed that is the center of rotation i need to fix another corner that is a <coughs> and i am going to rotate like this and this must be in off condition okay because the parent copy itself has to be rotated and then leave it like this okay so you e see here f and a is on the x y line so that is opposite core edge is on the vp so this you pull it down and this one also you pull it down just zoom the area so it will be very very easy for us to pull it down okay now once again fit zoom the area particular area okay 
so now i need to draw the final front view and top view so take a line command thickness must be 0 0.13 to draw the projections so first i am going to draw the projection from a and this is a, a thickness is 0 0.13 alignment indicator must be on it will be very easy for us to draw the projections next in the same way from the f okay and this is not the f so this is a e right this you can cross verify yes so this is a e command just change the naming this one is e dash okay okay once again zoom the particular area so take a line command thickness must be 0 0.13 from b so this is a b and this is the e okay and this one is c and this one is d so let's name do the naming so this is a c dash which is on the hp d dash so this one is e dash and this one is b dash this one is a dash and this one is f dash okay now take a line command thickness must be 0 0.5 why to draw the final front view from b dash to a dash a dash to f dash f dash to e dash e dash to d dash d dash to c dash and c dash to back to b dash okay so this is the final view front view on top view so once again take a uh, angle command give the angle from this line to this line okay it is how much 60 degrees sorry already is shown right so this is the problem which satisfies all the pro uh, conditions so this is hexagonal lamina of how much 25 and it is resting on one of its edges on hp and the lamina is making an angle of 60 degree the hp and the resting the opposite to the resting edge is on vp so this is the final top view final front view which satisfies all the given condition i hope you understood thank you Namaste.